It's been a long time since the boys and I have been out on a ride together. And this year, being bank holiday weekend, it was near on impossible to find a venue that would take six motorcyclists. So we did the decent thing and went abroad. As with any European tour, it starts in the UK and yes, it was wet. For me and Jonathan, it was a quick trip down the A14 to Stansted Services to meet the rest of the lads. So as soon as Colin, Steve then Julian arrived, it was time to head down to Dover, where we'd hook up with Jim and the big bike that he's hired for the weekend. Once in Dover, we meet up with Jim on something called a Harley Davidson. A short trip across the channel gives us time to stretch our legs before the two hour ride to Leuven. It's motorway all the way, with a couple of pit stops for fuel and to give my fat ass a rest. Now I know it's wrong, but when you hit the traffic in Brussels, there's nothing like chasing an ambulance to get you through it. And without a sat-nav, I don't think I would have done it. What a complicated city. Out of Brussels, back on the motorway heading for Leuven and we've lost people. And here we are, Leuven. A few people short, but a few minutes later Julian catches up with us. So we just have to hope that the sat-nav works on Jim's new Harley Davidson. Our bikes are already attracting attention, but they're soon to be overshadowed by the roadblock. At £100 a day to hire, it's actually quite a nice looking bike, and it certainly attracts attention. The nightlife in Leuven was busier than we expected. What do you expect? A university town with a thousand pubs and the biggest kebabs I've ever seen. The group are splitting up today. Me and the lads going to Bastogne, Steve and Jim to Amsterdam. Apparently Jim loves tulips. See you, soon, boys, eh? See you later, have a good ride. And we're off to Bastogne. A few twists and turns through the city centre leads us onto the E40 motorway. And after miles and miles of single lane roadworks, we reach the historic town of Bastogne, losing a few on the way. Bastogne is better known for the 1944 Battle of the Bulge, where the Americans who were occupying the town were caught out in a German raid. It didn't take us long to find the rest of the lads, and we were soon checking out Bastogne and its incredible history. The American airborne and armoured divisions suffered nearly a thousand casualties in this siege. For 18 days the Americans and the town peoples themselves held out against the German advance, but at great cost. For us it was time for a quick stop at a local cafe and after a few refreshments and some sightseeing we were ready for the off. the Tom Tom set to windy roads, we set off cross country towards the Ardennes forest. The conditions and the roads just couldn't have been better and a ride that started off mostly as guesswork turned into one of the most enjoyable rides I've had in years. A 
A quick stop to put the drone up and check out where exactly we were, only to find we were in the heart of one of the densest forests I've ever seen, and on a beautiful day. With the Tom Tom back on fastest routes, it's time for a lazy ride back to Leuven. Once back, we meet up with Steve and James, who once again draws in all the attention on his 25 grand bike. So as the night draws in, it's time to sample a good meal and a few beers from Leuven's nightlife for one more time. So the time has come to go home. And just like the journey here, it's motorway all the way. The beautiful weather from the day before looked like it was set to stay, so at least we'd keep dry. Yep, it rained. But before the ferry, a quick stop at Tobacco Alley. This half kilometre stretch in Dupin is just 40 miles from the ferry terminal in Calais. Speaking of which, an hour later, here we are. With the ferry trip out of the way, we're on to the last leg of the journey, and probably the worst because it's all motorway. We've leapfrogged on boring old motorways and in the pouring rain, losing each other on the way, until we regroup in Dover. We've sampled the atmosphere of Leuven, the historic sites in Bastogne, the beauty of the Ardennes roads, and picked up some cheap fags. Pound for pound, a weekend in Belgium is about the same as a weekend in the UK. Where oh where do we go next year? <laughs>